Hi, I'm Sergio Russo and this is my method to convert directly in DaVinci Resolve raw Cinema DNG files into clips with a log profile. From Cinema DNG to Log C or S Log 3 and from Log Profile to our final color space and gamma. The purpose of this tutorial is to compare a Cinema DNG clip after being transformed in DaVinci Resolve in a log profile to the same clip exported from MLV in log profile and check if both clips match one each other. So I wrote in my timeline the log C clip exported from MLV as ProRes 444 and the same clip exported from MLV as Cinema DNG. Let's jump to our project setting. First, we have to change our timeline resolution. Clip was shooted with a Canon EOS M and Magic Lantern in 2.5K with a 2520 by 1072 resolution. Under Color Management, I change color signs to DaVinci Color Managed. And Color Processing Mode to Custom. I try different settings under Input Color Space. And the best that works for me is DaVinci Wide Gamut Color Space. As Timeline Color Space, I select DaVinci. This way, we can take advantage of our HDR wheels and a huge color space in which to work. And being a Mac user as Output Color Space, I use REC709A. but you can use the output color space and gamma which is better for you. I always disable use inverse DRT to avoid clipping cores. Let's go to our color tab. DaVinci Color Management normalizes automatically the ProRes Log C clip. So, for the purpose of this comparison, right-click on the ProRes clip and bypass color management for this clip. Let's go to our DNG clip. I'm going to generate two new nodes. I will label one as color space transform in. And the other one as color space transform out. Then I'll put the color space transform effect on the first node. And I'll set my input color space and gamma as DaVinci White Gamut and DaVinci Intermediate. Then I'll set my output color space and gamma as Harry White Gamut and Harry Log C3. Then, in my second CSD out node, I drop another color space transform effect. I will set input color space as REC709. And input gamma, the same I selected in my output color space in project setting, which is REC709A. Finally, I will set the output color space and gamma as DaVinci Wild Gamut and DaVinci Intermediate.
Now, if we compare the two clips, the transformed VNG clip is darker than the ProRes Log C clip. I'll go to Raw Camera tab and I will raise the exposure. Under the Code Using tab, I select Clip. And based on my tests, I know the exposure has been to rise up 1.2. Now, if we compare the two clips, they are almost identical. Moreover, if we zoom in, we can notice that the NG clip is sharper than the ProRes clip. With this method, you can transform your EOS M and DNG clips in any log profile in DaVinci Resolve without losing quality. For example, let's transform our DNG clip in a Sony S Log Pre profile. We only have to change our output color space and gamma in the first node. We don't have to apply any change in our second node. And now we can apply any LUT suitable for the s log tree profile between the two nodes. I will apply an Eastman Phantom LUT for Sony s log tree. And now I can make my main color grey before of the color space transform nodes. To make it faster, I already made my correction and grabbed it in my gallery tab. Step by step, I will enable each node so you can see what I did. I raised the global exposure with my HDR wheels to 0.6. Then I did an easy adjustment of color temperature and tint. adding some saturation lower a little bit the shadow soft the mid detail a little bit I add the power window to spot the subject. Then in my loop node, I changed my U versus U and U versus luminance reds and greens. I apply some noise reduction at the beginning of our node 3. 
and some sharpness at the very end. And this is our final result.